What's up everyone? I'm Janitor Jake. And I'm Chris K. And welcome to the American Gaming Geeks. And uh, welcome back for another episode. So let's just get right to it. Anything new with you in the world of gaming? A little bit. I brought a bunch of games a while ago and I was going to show you them, but I didn't bring them, so I may as well just talk about something else. Uh, May the 4th happened and came and went, and I wanted to do a video series of uh, Star Wars. So eventually I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to sit down and I'm going to do like Star Wars Phantom Menace or something like that and work my way up through a bunch of newer games. Uh, up to the release of Star Wars. I say that now, I'm not sure how that'll go because I don't really have that much personal time, but sometimes I'm sick of you know whatever I wanna do all the time, or work and everything like that, and I just wanna sit down and do something mindless. So maybe that during that time, I will just uh, show the world how I play Star Wars. And you're gonna probably do that on your own channel or Yeah, I'm gonna create something. a new channel. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what to call it. But uh, I'll figure that out, and then I'll let you guys know how uh, and when, where, and how. And uh, I'm also going to make, for Star Wars Demolition, I'm going to see if I can try to make my own controller, my own flight simulator for it. So that could be pretty cool. All right, yeah, that's pretty sweet. So, And nothing too new with me. It is garage sale time now, at least up here in Wisconsin. Everyone else is like, oh, garage sales? Yeah, back in March, February, March. Up here, it's like, oh, finally June? Hmm. Can we go to garage sales now? Is there no snow? Yeah. So, I didn't find anything too much, but I found a few things. I uh, went looking around and didn't find anything at any garage sales. Finally, I went to one and it had a table full of baby clothes. Just baby clothes everywhere and a couple little baskets here and there. Huh. And then there's um, a, a little basket full of music CDs. And there was someone digging around in it. And as they were digging around through it, I caught a glimpse of, um, well, basically I caught a glimpse of this like a flash of that green. Hmm. And I was like, whoa, I wonder if there's more PlayStation games in there then. And uh, that person was done, and they got out of the way, and I went looking through, and I pulled out a couple games, and these were the PlayStation games I pulled out. Number one is uh, play, uh, Need for Speed High Stakes, and it is complete. It's got the manual and the disc, nice. and it's all in really good condition, too. It doesn't look like, like they've even been played. Nice. Uh, the other game I picked up was Gran Turismo. I already own this one, but I, I didn't know if you owned it, and it was cheap enough, and I was like, well, maybe I'll pick it up. If not, maybe I'll just resell it. Hmm. So, Sweet. who knows, but it is complete, great condition. Got, the you know, that manual, and um, got both manuals with it and the disc. Strange you have one disc and two manuals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't know why they did that. Huh. Of course, it's impossible to close, though. So, and then the one that I found that I thought was amazing, I was like, whoa, this is awesome. When I pulled this out, and I found a Parasite Eve 2. It's like uh, one of the, for those that don't know what Parasite Eve is, it's like Resident Evil. It's got the tank controls, and you're fighting monsters and stuff. Mm. And it's got both the discs, and it also has the manual. Just amazing condition. And they were only like a buck a piece. Nice. So... And this game is like a $30 game, maybe 25 to 30 bucks. so... Good find. I think it's a pretty good deal, especially finding Parasite Eve. As soon as I saw that, I grabbed it and was like... Yeah. I'm gonna hide it in case the next gamer who shows up. Yeah. You gotta you gotta look out around the baby clothes, because sometimes you get some good finds. <laughs> so you just double check, double check. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then I went to another garage sale and I found this. I, didn't, I was like, wow, this is cool. And I asked the person about it. They said they didn't know much about it. And they were going to sell it for dirt cheap, so I bought it. And it was Mark's TV Tennis. Um, I tried getting it to work. It takes um, D batteries. Put D batteries in it. It didn't work. I don't have the power supply for it, so I'm going to have to dig around and find one to see if I can get it to work. Interesting. But it's like, it's, it's like Pong. Um, Apparently there's an arm that's in here that's on like a spring, you know, that kind of does it. Like if you were to smack the arm, it would just do this. Huh. And so you turn it on and there's a light on the end of it to represent the tennis ball. Yeah. And this moves up and down. Crazy. And so apparently when that little plastic thing smacks into that, 
That's mm. how you play, and you got the score right there. It's, it's like a, a combination between Pong and one of those um, pinball machines. Yeah, it's like pinball Pong or analog Pong. Huh. And then uh, the final thing was that uh, my dad was at an auction while I was garage sailing, and he looks out for stuff for me too. And he said that he didn't find much. He said he, he was like, oh, I found one little thing that looks like a video game, but I don't know, I got it, see what you think. And he ended up finding this. A Pong console, which is amazing. This is the APF TV Fun, and I, I'm always looking for things like this. I love when I find stuff like this. Um, I tested it out; it works, but there is a few things I have to mess with. Uh, the cable is chewed up by mice, so I got to resolder that. I did test it by I have an old busted Atari. I took the cable out and replaced it to see if it worked, and it did. And the other thing is this knob is kind of loosey goosey. Mm -hmm. So I have to tear into that and fix that, but otherwise, yeah, it works and it's great. And uh, I figured since because I found this, um, what the heck, let's actually play some Pong. Yeah. Oh, and that, it did come with that, so if you have the old original TV, you can hook that up and the owner manual. Very nice. So that's pretty cool. I love when it comes with stuff like this. That's sweet. And it's in great condition. Hmm. And so to celebrate me finding apparently all these Pong consoles, I figured, what the heck, let's play some Pong. Yeah. So, and this is your Pong console. Yeah. This is the Wonder Wizard. Uh, I found this amongst a bunch of, um, oh, what do you call them? Um, the, the things that, that tune in your, your satellite dish. So satellite dish tuners were a bunch, a bunch of those there, and this was in the bottom of it. It was a Wonder Wizard console, which has several different versions. It's got... Hockey, tennis, squash, practice, and they're not really anything like the actual sport, but they're they got different rules. Sometimes you have two, um, two of them for like hockey and stuff like that, and yeah, different kinds of uh, gameplay, uh, different speeds, different angles that the ball can travel at. So it's pretty pretty interesting. It's one of the later uh, Pong consoles, and I think it's from. Oh, it doesn't even say. It's probably from the seventies, eighties. But yeah, made in Korea. And this one, you got the batteries in it. Yeah. So, so I had to power up with batteries. Um, I did not have the power cord with it, unfortunately. So it has to be battery powered. All right, cool. So we're going to turn this thing on and yeah. get going. So you ready to play? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so what's really cool about this is it has detachable handles, unlike mine, where the controls are right in the console itself. Yeah. So this one we can actually pull apart. Mine's a little loose, but that's all right. And, uh, you know, the weird thing about Pong is you can't really beat it. I mean, like, how are you going to beat the game? So we're just going to, for once, we're going to do a game that we can't beat, and we're just going to play each other to see who wins, I guess. Yeah, apparently somebody at a garage sale was selling it for $3, but I bought this for, like, 2 so that's pretty sweet. All right, so what do you want to play first? Do you want to play hockey, uh, tennis, let's go classic. squash, or practice? Oh, practice. Uh... Oh. Practice is just one player, so yeah, obviously we're so, not going to yeah, do that. Um, let's, There's squat, tennis. Tennis, tennis, tennis is just the classic. The, and then, of course, we can change the settings. We can have slow, yeah. which looks like that. Fast. And then... Um, you change the angle. We can have the auto serve on or off. We'll probably leave. Oh, right. Cause, and then I can manually... Whoa! Yeah, you okay. can. That did not work the way it was supposed to. I got, yeah, he has you the reset the button and I have the serve button. Dumb. And we can change the angle, too, that the ball flies at either 20 degrees or 40 degrees. I always like when it does long. Yeah. Bigger angles or larger small paddles. Yeah. So, I don't know, we're just going to go for it. Yeah. All right, so we're going to play. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Ready? Yeah. Jeez. Okay, you ready? I say I'm ready. Okay, ready? No. Uh, and you're on uh, my right hand side. Yes, I am. <laughs> ready? I'm on the right, yeah. I'm winning five. Whoa, what the? I don't know what happened there. Um, well, weird. Ha <laughs> hoo! And that's the thing, like, I don't really know what to talk about when it comes to Pong. Ah. Like, uh, oh yeah, look at the graphics. <laughs> like, I mean, come Great on. graphics. It's a little bit more open-ended. <laughs> One thing I will say, though, is that um, these controllers are really nice. 
It's, it's got the analog control on it. Yeah, them. these are really smooth. Dang it. I, I'm really bad at this. My controller is a little bad. I'm just going to use that as my excuse. Okay, I guess you win because... Oh, I thought, I thought it went up to 40. No, it was up to 15. And then if we do this, no matter how much you try to hit it, it won't. No, it'll just go right through you just like any other Pong, pong console. So, but yeah, okay. looks like I won. Yeah, want to so, do it again or another Yep, yeah, hit the reset. Game? Um, yeah, it's like you can control the speed, like it's not digital. And everyone's like, oh, digital, digital, digital. Well, you know what? Analog gives you the exact control. Yeah, like you just barely touch it. It's like you get an analog control on a digital machine, it'll just sense, oh, okay, are you going this speed? Okay, you can start going at this speed. And then you start to speed up a little bit, and it'll instantaneously just jerk to a faster speed. This is, it's exactly, exactly where you put the position on here. You can speed it up to a certain position and slow it down exactly as you do it. Yeah, these controls. It's hard to explain. I mean, I'm just going to ramble. Yeah, these controls are amazing. Mm. So here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. And um, one thing I was going to say, too, is that um, the sound comes out of the console itself. It does not come out of the TV. That's true. Wow. I actually kept a volley there for a while. It's a miracle. And it's weird, too. Like, it's kind of deceitful. Like, you think, oh, Pong, it'll be real easy. But then, like, you start moving up and down. It's like, wait a minute. Yeah. It's, it's kind of weird to get used to these controls. Oh, I guess probably because we're so used to digital. Yeah, probably. Like, we can't handle the analog. And then people might be like, oh, well, see, you guys don't know how to play very well. Why don't you do slow? And then, but then we'll do slow, and no one will get a score. No. Oh. Coming back with a vengeance. Ah, I shouldn't trash talk Pong. So it looks like I won that round. Yeah. So we'll that was two out of three, so. Well, just for the heck of it, we'll put it on slow and show people what we're talking yeah. about. It's, mm. So go ahead, hit reset. This is a slow version. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we could be here for hours. Like, oh, this is what people want to see. People sitting on the sidelines. Or, like, every time you hit a volley, just golf clap. <laughs> so we're going to leave it on fast. Yeah. But um, now we're going to go to hockey. So this one's a little bit different. Yeah, you got the offense and defense. So this is pretty cool. So are you ready? Yep. Go ahead and hit reset. So I'm going to serve in three, two, one. Oh, wait, I can hit my own piece? I can hit it back towards myself? That's crazy. Oh, I shouldn't have hit All right, that. Ready? Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Three, two, one. Huh. That's really weird. <laughs> Stupid crap like that. Ah. This is really trippy. It's hard to get the hang of it. Like, what is going on? It's a really fun game, though, once you really start getting into it. People yeah. are like, oh, Pong, no. No, real basic. No, no fun at all. It's like when you actually play it as a competition, it's pretty cool. It even gets crazier when you play it as a drinking game. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I wouldn't know. But, um... Yeah, Pong came out, I believe, um, I don't even know what year, like 1972 or something like that, is when it came out. Nice. See, this is weird, like, I want to, like, I know a little bit about the history and stuff, and I want to talk about it, but I'm so dug on concentrating on what's actually going on. Yeah, it's pretty intense, actually. You can't really talk and do this at the same time. It's like, like foosball, like, I don't know if you ever played foosball, but... That can get pretty intense, and it's just like a hmm, ball bouncing around. See? Hey, Chris, keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. So one more and I, I'll win. Oh, it's like I always do that. Like, it's coming right at me. I'm like, ah, uh, move out of the way. 
Just flinch. All right, so ready? I'm gonna try slow once just to see what yeah, it's we like. We can do that on slow. So here's slow. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh. I just wanted to see. Weird. Okay, so if it hits your offense, it just bounces. It changes the angle, and it keeps. Oh, sorry. It keeps going the same direction. I keep forgetting I don't have the serve. I mean, it might be. I mean, I don't know if it if it does or not, but it might be kind of cool if it were to speed up a little bit. Like the longer you keep going, yeah, then maybe the faster it will go. I know, Maybe. like some old Atari, some of the Atari games did that. They accelerate. Like uh, I don't even know the name. Like Kaboom, maybe. The farther you go and stuff, the faster everything gets. Yeah, it's funny. The uh, the opposite side can bounce it forwards, but if it's going, uh, if it's going its direction, it changes the uh, the angle of incidence there. From twenty to negative twenty. Oh, I forgot. And some of them too, like the different Pong, I mean there's tons of different Pong consoles out there. I mean the Angry Video Game Nerd did um, a whole episode on Pong consoles. Uh, yeah, he included this one, didn't he? I'm not sure, I think he did. Well, there's like multiple versions of it. Hmm. It's like all the Wonder Wars and there's like three different versions. Yeah, this one was made by General Electronics. It's like the Atari 2600. It's like, oh, you got the, the heavy sixer, and then the light sixer, and then the, the whatever, the normal one, and then the Darth Vader uh, version. They're the all, Darth Vader version? Yeah, it's just all black. Nice. And then the junior. Oh, for Carnella, what am I doing? But um, some of them, though, like some of the Pawn consoles, uh, the first one to get to 11 wins. Hmm. And I don't know if all of them get to certain ones, but this one goes up to 15. But I mean, we've had this thing sitting down here for a while, and it was like, you know what, what the heck, I found a Pong console. Yeah, Mario's been holding on to it for a while for us. If you look at our older videos. Yeah, so that's why I kind of thought, well, what the heck, since I found a Pong console in the Mark's uh, TV tennis, I figured, what the heck, maybe I'll... Um, Let's do Pong then, get it out of the way. Now I think I have won, so, because you can keep serving, but it's like it, hey, it just goes through everything and no one actually. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So that was hockey. Now we're going to do squash. squash. This one gets kind of confusing because it's like, yeah. I'll hit it, and then you'll go to hit it, but it'll go through you. Mm. So it's like I hit it twice, I don't know, from what I've noticed it like changes stuff up, so we'll try it. So you hit reset? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to hit it. I don't really know the rules. There, see, it like went, through okay, you. went right through me. So you have to serve and hit it. But then I'll do it this time, and then, like, no, you have to hit it. No, didn't let me. I think maybe you have to hit it twice. See, now it went through me. It's going to slow, so I'll, I'll just let you do it, and we'll figure out how many times you have to hit it before it'll be my turn. See, it's going to keep going through me until you oh, do it. weird, okay. So we'll go ahead and hit it. And it's like, oh, no, geez. it'll go through you probably. We'll never know because I'm never going to hit it. Now is, now is it finally back and forth? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So on my serve, now you have to hit it. Now me. Then you. Let's just both try to hit it all the time. <laughs> me. You. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. That was confusing. It's it's not confusing once you do it, but it's like at the beginning, it's like it doesn't know what's going on. It's like you and then you. Huh. It's stupid. I don't know which one I like better. I probably like the hockey, or I mean, classic Pong is good, but... Yeah. Hockey's pretty trippy. I like it. This one's not as good. Yeah, it's 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 hard to follow. Oh, oh, cramity. And I'm the one that's in the back, bouncing up and down. <laughs> yeah, shake some back. You want to speed this issue up? 
after. Uh, now I'll put it on fast just to. <laughs> it, yeah. It does require a lot of concentration. There goes my score. I don't know. I think I won now. Yeah. Yeah. Did you? Okay, yeah. You did. So, and then the final one on here is just a practice, and that's just a, you'd be the one to do the practice. Yeah. yeah go ahead, you can. I can't serve, though. Ready? It's like you have to here, serve, put or the auto have to serve put it on, on auto serve, yeah. It's no. like, it's like the machine that serves. It is pretty cool, like, I love how they put the practice in there. Yeah. So you can just sit here and do this if no one's around. Yeah. But yeah, this is a great, like, uh, what you said, a party game. Have a bunch of people come over, sit around, and play some Pong. Competition Pong. I used to do this, like, with a tennis ball against my barn. In reality. Pretty sad, actually. And uh, if you really want it to go crazy, you can put it on small. Holy crap. And hit reset. And that's the thing people might be wondering, like, oh, how come you're missing it all the time? But you don't know until you... Yeah, you tend to overshoot. ...actually use the controls because they're so good. Yeah. It's like... It's, it's exactly accurate to what you're doing. It's not digital. It doesn't snap to it either. It doesn't have any forgiveness. You already lost. Oh, I did. I'm not even paying attention. I'm like, what's going through me? Freaking, hey. Maybe if I play this more. It doesn't seem to work on my TV very well. Is that somebody knocking on our door? Could be. I bet it's the, uh, yeah. It's the resurfacers for your driveway. They're probably like, there's a frog on your driveway. We can't re finish resurfacing it. I already lost. Hey, what? Oh. Alright, so that was the uh, Pong console, uh, what was it, the Wonder Wizard. Wonder Wizard. We just played, so... By General Home Products. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty fun game. I enjoy it, but it's, you know, it's it hard to really do a video on it. It really is. Like, it's easy to get competitive to get into it, energetic and everything like that, but uh, doing a video on it, it's just kind of kind of boring. Yeah, because there's a lot of information. Like, Atari made it, but then, like, they had a lawsuit filed against them for creating Pong because the Magnavox Odyssey already had like pong like a thing go a pong like thing going on hmm. with the console anyway and so there's a yeah. bunch of information out there like it's the first um okay. you know it's like one of the uh, first arcade games and stuff like that yeah but um it's also like the i believe it's the first sports arcade game hmm. because it would be considered tennis right yeah basically table tennis and you know you got like hockey Ping or ball. whatever so it's pretty pretty yeah. fun and uh well, why would you not want to play this on an emulator? Yeah. <laughs> because this is like the most annual analog control like you, you can have. It's, you know, it speeds up when you speed up. It slows down when you sp slow down. You're not going to see that kind of fluid motion uh, when you're actually playing like a computer game like, uh, like PlayStation or something. It's basically an advanced computer game. Uh, their analog control is not analog. It's got like maybe two intensity settings, but it's not going to be able to change the speed like that. Yeah, the original controls on here are just amazing. Yeah, and there's no delay in it whatsoever. Like if you move up, it's moving up. It's not processing, it's not thinking, it is just going. Because it's you, it's literally, you're literally controlling where the paddle is. <laughs> so it's not like thinking about it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, I'm from, I haven't looked at it recently, but from what I remember, like, consoles like this sell between, like, maybe 35 to 45 50 bucks. Hmm. So we'll say, at max, 45 bucks. Wow. Is it worth 45 <laughs> bucks? Man, there's millions of these things out there somewhere. Uh, I wouldn't say so. I say if you can find it for, you know, maybe 10 bucks, you, you should pick one up. Yeah, you know, I'd say, you're probably right, like, 10 bucks would be the absolute max. Yeah. Like I said, it's a good party game to have with a buddy, you know, 
versus each other, do the fast, slow, the different angles, messing with this, doing the different games. Yeah. You know, it's pretty cool, but, you know, all it is is Pong. Mm -hmm. It's nothing else. Unless you're a collector and you just need to have that one. It's like, oh, I'm missing one Pong console in the entire world. Fine. You know, spend 40 bucks on it if you have to. Yeah. But. Otherwise, that's it. That's Pong for you. So, wow, what a quick video, huh? Yeah. Probably boring video, too. So, whatever. I'm Janitor Jake. I'm Chris K. We'll see you guys next time.